Hollywood, settle down, everyone, settle down. Please, can you please just, just oh, not all at once, please. Let's settle, settle, settle up, yes. settle up, settle up, settle up, settle up. Okay. Settle and settle then down. settle down, settle down. Settle, down. Settle, down. Okay. Okay. settle midway. Yeah. Okay, settle, settle down. down, settle down, settle, settle down. down. Very good, please, Very good. please. Welcome to RFU class 694.20-3, mm. mm. Explorations of the Absurd. Of yes. course, this is a class with three professors. You may recognize us from our most recent uh, panel uh, where we were discussing the importance of diversity in education. Yes, mm. we were the only panel members, of course. <laughs> Yes. I think it went very well. It was I well received. So. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. very well received. We did a great I agree. Job. Mm. Yes. Yes. yes, 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 yes. So, thank you all for working so diligently. Yes. Uh, oh, having filled out your prerequisite <laughs> Some knowledge. Some really, board. really good stuff here. Yes. Uh, that's all garbage. Absolute garbage. We want you to forget everything you think you used to know. Lose it, lose it, lose it. Get it's, rid of it. This is I'm a class that explores the absurd. We're looking for divergent thinkers. Absolutely well put, Professor Matthewson. If you haven't shifted your paradigms yet, mm. shift them now. Absolutely. If you have a pair of dimes in your pocket, just Put them in the other pocket. Pair of dimes. Exactly. Well put, Professor Matthewson. Thank you. We should, of course, introduce ourselves. Yes, uh, this is a man who requires no introduction. However, if you would, please. Uh, but demands one every yes. time. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Professor Fade mm. uh, has been simultaneously the dean of eight different uh, departments across three different post-secondaries. Mm. Uh, he has lectured uh, from the departments of philosophy, mm -hmm. uh, metaphysics, uh, mm. uh, and, uh, and of course, linguistics. Yes. Uh, but tonight, he comes to us from a different department. Uh, his department uh, is, of course, the department of... Brainiology. Brainiology. Yes! Brainiology! Yes. <laughs> Now, uh, as we all know, uh, with his most recent uh, work in the, in the field of brainiology, mm. he won the Nobel Prize. Ooh. But not for something that you would normally think a brainiologist would be no. studying. No, 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 no. Not the brain. No, obviously. No, he was studying something so out of left field. Mm, divergent. Uh, that, that the Nobel uh, panel had to create a new prize mm. just for him. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, he was linking brainiology with a study of uh, macaroni. Oh, ma yes. Mm. Yes, it was macaroni. Yes, that's right. Uh, specifically macaroni or all pasta? Oh, I, I, specifically macaroni. However, I did dabble in other pastas. Well, yeah. Of course, <laughs> yeah. for comparative research of purposes. Course, of yes, course. of course. Yeah. Brainiology of pasta, yes. uh, specifically uh, macaroni. So simple, so easy. <laughs> yes, yes. Allow me to introduce <laughs> Professor Mathewson. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dr. Professor Mathewson is one of our youngest PhDs ever, having completed his PhD at the age of nine years old. That's right. His second at age 11. That's his right. His third age 12. Mm -hmm. And his finally fourth PhD just last year also at 15 years old. Yes. <laughs> Happy you've, to be you've here. You've aged poorly. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, what I, knowledge If does. I can say that. Yes, of course, please. Now, of course, you Professor Matthewson comes to us from the faculty of... Yeah. Uh, uh, dentures? I, I also heard AI, but that's too easy. <laughs> I, I believe some people did say dance. Oh, ah, dance. Ah, dance. Oh, the faculty of dance. <laughs> Not fine art, <laughs> but dance. dance. Well, that was the so. depart I believe it was the department, department of, dance. of dance. Yes, 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 yes it was. But he was looking into specifically... Caterpillars. Chicken feet. Caterpillars <laughs> or chicken feet. You did both. Which would you like to lead with? Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> Uh, caterpillars. Caterpillars. Mm. Yes. Wonderful. My wonderful. first and second and third PhD yes. caterpillars, of course. Dance. Yes. And the art of caterpillars. Dance. Caterpillars. Of course. Dance. Caterpillars. Of course. Mm, wonderful. Now, no trilogy of professors would be complete. Wait, am I only here to complete the trilogy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, was episode six only there to complete the trilogy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Now, no professor trilogy would be complete without what we consider to be the coolest professor living today, hip, young, and ready to spunk, with a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a podcast uh, that has topped the charts for years. Yes, the podcast charts. Yes. 
Professor Vanderhelm comes to us today on loan from the Department of... What's this? The Department of 2000's, 2000's Trivia. trivia. <laughs> As in the new millennium? Yes, okay. Yes. We're only 20 years into that bad boy. <laughs> Got a long way to go. Yes, yes. Two the thousand Department of 2000's, 2000's trivia. trivia. Yeah, that's the department. Yes. Mm. Of course, it's under the umbrella of the faculty of... 2000's. Of, yes, 2000's. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yes. And, and yes. anything specific about... Well, of course, uh, your most recent work has mm. really challenged our ideas in one very specific and unique field. It's something that you wouldn't expect someone exploring the 2000s to know a lot about. It's... Sexuality. It's what? <laughs> Sexuality. Sexuality. Yes. yes. Uh, now, do you have enough experience in that? <laughs> or? I did, I, I did a lot of field research. <laughs> I did a lot of observation. Yes. Can I uh, say that? Yes. 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 Not without being creepy, but <laughs> yes. No, yes. you, you did, of course. Why are we bringing creepiness into this? <laughs> you, you did. It was for research. You sure. Were. Of sure. course, did people did signed uh, did affidavits. They, know they did. Okay, they, they did. signed yes. affidavits? <laughs> <laughs> good. Uh, yeah. Research consent form. Okay. Yes. Ah, no, good, I good. I think it's you're digging a hole here. Yes, very good. <laughs> well, I had to study a lot of holes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Are you going to be all unnecessary? Right? I, I are you? Yes, okay. yes. Very good. Uh, good. I'm... I'm Brilliant, bring your new hot fresh takes on <laughs> sexuality. Absolutely, and remember, it's 7.30, so just <laughs> keep that in mind. Uh, of, co of course, Good. you don't have to keep me on a short leash. No, 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 it would fit in some kind of Yes, no, leashes were a part of it for sure, <laughs> okay. yes. Okay, just saying, um, okay. just saying. Very good, very good. Well, uh, what now that we understand, I mean, we knew uh, of course, from which we departments were. we course, were uh, us, presenting sure. from, yes. obviously. This is your opportunity to have influence over the course. Mm -hmm. We will be uh, taking an entire semester's worth of time mm. uh, in one specific subject, one yes. theory of the absurd. Yes. Mm. In the past, we have uh, proven other theories true. Theories uh, such as north is the direction you are facing. Yes, but that's north. 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 <laughs> North. North. Of course, ugly things fall faster than pretty things. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. We studied that empirically. Absolutely, we did. Excellent. Finally, gla uh, uh, glasses are fighting natural selection. <laughs> but we, so some of us, found different findings sure. on this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think it was definitive. Yes. <laughs> and tall people give better gifts. Which I believe you led the research on that I did, one. I yes. did, and might I say, what a gift it was. Yes, um, it, it was very well received. I agree, I agree. But now it is time for us to turn to our class mm -hmm. and determine what is this semester's theory. Mm. So, let's work on it together, shall we, Professor Matthewson? Yes, what are you postulating in your minds in the absurd let's, let's corners? build it together. Think about your absurdity. Mm. Where does your theory start? Any, not all at once. Yes, Just no, one at a time. Ahead. Yes, please. Space. 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 Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Space. Ooh, it could be anything. It could be interpreted in different ways. Ooh. Some say it's the final frontier. Absolutely. Others don't. Yes. <laughs> anything else? Keep going. Personal, Personal space. space. Personal space. Well, yes. Let's discuss this okay. absurd theory. Keep yes. going. We do all need right. some type of topic. Yes. Yeah, yes, in the back. Thank you for raising your hand. Very good. Tweed, tweed. <laughs> tweed and personal space? Mm. It seems divergent. Yes, okay, we might all right. have just been yelling out our favorite weed brand. Sure, <laughs> sure. Tea weed. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, uh, what, uh, uh, what else could we sort of Venn diagram with personal, personal space? space? What other absurd theory can What's link? theory pulls from that? Personal space. Sorry? I heard K-hole. <laughs> <laughs> but it couldn't have been that. No, that seems... <laughs> Let's, let's put a full sentence together yeah. and make a theory at this yeah, point. Yes, yes, okay. Anything around personal, personal space. space. Personal space is. What's the crazy theory about personal space? The more tweed, the, the more, more personal, personal space. space. I feel that's in a direct attack. Yeah, absolutely it is. <laughs> Anything else? That, that's the kind of thing we're looking for. Yes, more tweed is equals more personal space. Okay. But what else, do we, what else can we link here? Personal oh, okay, personal space doesn't exist. And then what was this one? 
Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks and socks. Another, another direct I feel <laughs> attack. You are taking it from all sides. Yes, as your research would find. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I like this notion of uh, uh, personal space doesn't. E What's that? Personal space is infinite. Personal space, space is, is infinite. infinite. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Can, can anyone make a better one than that? Personal, well, that's, well, I believe in that 100%. Yeah, we'll, we'll but what, what, what was back here? It was paradigm shift. Paradigm, paradigm, paradigm shift. shift. So yes, well, we have to do those. Yes. Uh, okay, so personal space doesn't exist. Personal no, space or is, is infinite. infinite. Mm. Personal space okay. is infinite. infinite. You can taste it. And you can taste it? Well, no, okay. Well, that, 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 <laughs> okay. I think that person Personal just drank Personal space the wine is infinite. infinite. Okay. Uh, very good. Professor Fade, will you uh, yeah. adjust the, uh, the, the PowerPoint presentation here? Oh, that's there. embarrassing. Sorry. Hang on. Oh, no. Um, oh, no, you lost it. Yes, click on that one. No, yeah. click on that. Yes, good. Is it, and is then it you I need put to, it in a, uh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. Um, you need to click on oh, there that. Is. Yes, yes, right there. Right there. Yes, okay. What the uh, heck is going on over here? Yes, is, yes, it is. Personal is in Yes, a night. Yes. Yeah, Wonderful. And I want to adjust your spacing. That's, that's good. Good. Very good. All right. No Very problems good. there at all. Wonderful. All right. Personal space is infinite. infinite. Of course, the three terms uh, here are obvious. Uh, yes. Personal. Mm -hmm. yes. What is that? Uh, space. Mm. Right? And of course, the concept of infinity. infinity. Right? Yes. 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 This, this show could go on forever. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. And I, I believe some university courses feel like they do go on forever. That's very true. That's okay. very true. Uh, I believe that's all we need to accomplish here in our first week of orientation. Yes, like most orientations, yes. they are mostly useless. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. So yes. without further ado, yes. we will, uh, of course, see you. Uh, ah, we would be remiss, uh, of course. Yes. Due to recent cutbacks in education, we Ooh. would be contractually obligated to mention this year's RFU 2020 academic sponsor is, of course, Cool Ranch Doritos. Yes. <laughs> now I am contractually obligated to tell you with more Cool Ranch flavor. So things are going well <laughs> for us at this university. <laughs> Yes. Without further ado, Manny Frigus. Yes, Manny Frigus. Manny Frigus. Manny Frigus. Manny Frigus. Yes. Manny Frigus. Manny Frigus. Good. <coughs> So if you ask them to take the 12-inch sub and cut it in half, you can just save half for later. Mm. <laughs> ah, right? You're well put. Wrong. That's a subway hack for yes. you. Right there. And yeah. if any researcher knows what six inches look like, it's definitely <laughs> you. Absolutely. Especially two of them side by side. Yeah. Amazing. I want to apologize. That was a very personal barb that I gave you. Well, but I thought it might careful, launch Careful, careful. Oh. You're uh, encroaching. Well, uh, how am I not encroaching? <laughs> I'm just saying you're waving your arms right into my bubble. I, I just, I thought we could maybe start by discussing what is the personal. Ah, uh, sure, sure. As someone who studies brainology, yes. we all think we are individuals. I think I'm an individual. Oh, and you? Absolutely. Okay, and so you both agree that you think you're both individuals. I, in fact, think both of you are your own individual selves as well. well I, I tend myself. to agree with you. Does that make us individuals in any way at all? I, I would suggest that in my research, occasionally two will become one. Mm. <laughs> now, that was that technically that 90s yes. trivia. Oh, uh, that's yes. true. But of course, to understand 2000s trivia, yes. must one must know what yes. predecessors mm. pred 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 came before it. Predecessors. Hmm? We must know the predecessors. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, if yeah. we're to understand the presence, then we must understand the predecessors. Okay. Yes. Uh, What's uh, come before? Mm. And before the person, of course, was the egg and the sperm, yes. which had no problem with each other's personal space. No. No, no, none at all. But the answer to who came first is fairly obvious if it's <laughs> Professor Vander Helm. Yes, it is indeed. <laughs> uh, quite a personal attack. Another there personal as well. attack, uh, only be to begin to get back on track to yes. talk about what is personal. Mm -hmm. And I think I understand the person to be what is inside of our body. Mm. Everything that is inside my body is personal to me. My body is my person. I am defined in that 
sensed by my corporal being. Mm, interesting. Okay. Yes. I, I, I like this idea of what is inside us makes us who we are uh, because we're all made of organs. Yes. Uh, sexual organs, sure, for example. Sure, very specific. Yes. Well, I, <laughs> seemingly you unnecessary, you but have go to on. remember my, the, the subject of my research was in sexuality. Sure. Yes, yes. So, of course, I'm looking at through that lens. And any organ can be a sexual organ. I, my findings. <laughs> My findings would suggest yes. you are correct. Yes. I, I take great offense. However, I will. I will not. I will not go any further uh, into this. Your epidermis is showing. Okay. Well, that. It's your largest organ, okay. and must I remind you, it's rather sexual. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Now, how did that feel? It felt good. I haven't been touched in ages. I'm a professor. <laughs> Did it make you feel alive? It did. Like a human person would. Yes. Yes. So we're already starting to see the connections with sexuality. However, <laughs> let us dive a little more deeply into this personal element. Yes, yes I, I believe you, uh, in, your under, in your research in macaroni and mm, pasta variants, yes. uh, you have something to offer us here yes. in the world of the person. Yes, something to stick in our hat. <laughs> <laughs> and call macaroni, for those of you not familiar with mm. Okay, good, good, <laughs> just making sure. I'm still catching up on sure, that Sure, that's joke. fine. What if, for example, Go and on. I'll pull from my own research, I had created a beautiful dish of craft dinner, Macaroni. Mm -hmm. Is that my personal dish of macaroni? If I should leave it on a windowsill to cool mm. and someone might walk by and they touch it, are they invading my personal space? Of course, of course. Of course. It's, it's, it's of you. Mm. It, you may, it wouldn't exist without you. Absolutely. And in that sense, it's your creation. And your yet what if I add the sign free on the bowl? What happens then? Ah, so you're giving up of your person. Mm -hmm. So. So personal mm. uh, has limitations, mm. but perhaps personal space might not. Ah, ah. interesting, yeah. Professor Vanderhelm. Well, if, if, if you yourself have limitations, your mm. epidermis, mm -hmm. as, as you put it, Professor Mathewson, uh, but if we know that uh, if we give of ourselves in the form of gifts, perhaps dishes of pasta, sure. cooling on a windowsill, yes, that's, yes. not unlike a pie. Uh, I'm not familiar. That's not my level of research. I. <laughs> I've done pennies, I've, I've cooled lasagnas, mm, there's yes. been rigatonis and fettuccinis. Have you ever taken pasta, put it inside of pastry, then baked the pastry around it? Uh, oh, uh, this like, would like a beef wellington made of spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I have never done that. Well, this would be a pasta pie. I see. <laughs> or a pizza getty, as okay. they call it. Continue, Professor Vander. I was just going to say, in my studies, I uh, uh, dived deep into one specific kind of pie. Oh? <laughs> ah, I never don't mind, think I never mind, mind never mind. On that one. Have we. Dealt it was American pie. Yes, yes. okay. Good, thank you. Yes, You're welcome. very good. You're welcome. Uh, do we feel as though we have discussed what the personal is? It, is? it is one's own body, but it could extend potentially to one's own yeah, personal. The, the sum of one's organs, mm -hmm. yes. sexual and otherwise. Or for every organ is a sexual <laughs> thank organ. You, thank you. Thank you. Hate that, yeah. but okay. <laughs> it, it doesn't have to be. It can be. Uh, right, yeah, it has the potential yeah, to, to be. be. Your okay. body is your person. Mm. Your space is your own. Everything you encompass mm. is uh, yours. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, you see? felt it there. I did. I don't like how you're, <laughs> especially with this understanding that all organs can be sexual. <laughs> As you encroach on my personal space, I don't enjoy it. I'm sorry. And uh, I like to believe that all your organs not only could be sexual, but in, in fact have been sexual. <laughs> and that's what creeps me out the most. <laughs> I mean, th there's something to be said about the liver. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm going no, to say. I don't want to know. It's all right. It's all right. Are you an organ donor? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Can't wait to get into so many people. Okay. okay. <laughs> Shall we? Hey, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yes, I did get that in my field research deep in the Nepalese mountains, researching their particular pasta and how it drives their own personal brain development. However, I think we should turn to something maybe more specific. Do you agree? Mm. Agreed. Good. 
Uh, you're both looking at me as though... You seem to have an idea. I thought this was a Fadian segue. Ah, yes, yes, a, a Fadian, yes. This is a classic Fadian segue where I say, you should talk about space. Go ahead. <laughs> The human body is mm. amazing. It encompasses about 10 cubic feet uh, of volume in this world. The moves that we make uh, are thus contained in this sphere of influence. Mm. This is something that I dive in deep on with my dance pieces. I... Mm. Ah, yes, your dance I, I almost <laughs> forgot. <laughs> Very Cer certainly space and dance. Yes, yes. Oh, uh, must be a perfect best. connection. Yes, yes, yes. Now, it is not without my specificity of faculty and degree that my dance exists. No, the caterpillar is what influences me most. That right, that was your subject, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> yes. W the weeks have gone by in this semester and I've completely forgotten. And I shall never forget because it is where I was born and it is where I will die. Oh. It is is my that how caterpillars work? <laughs> it is my intellectual mind palace. Oh, okay. <laughs> Now, we imagine a caterpillar racing through a jungle, a jungle like the Nepalese one mm. you referred to earlier. <laughs> I might oblige you a to... A caterpillar racing through a... Ma yes, racing is the verb. I, I must implore you that all time is relative, and uh, if you mm. are a caterpillar and your heart is beating as mm. fast as it can, and your legs are moving as fast as they mm -hmm. can, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well then to you, the world is racing by. How and many legs on a caterpillar great, again? Great, great question. At least one. Yes. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, it's a worm. <coughs> And Fair less enough? than a million, because mm. then it would be a millipede. <laughs> is that where the root word of milla yeah, comes in? That's where it is. And less than a hundred, too, because then it would be a, a centipede. centipede. Exactly. <laughs> ah. So a caterpillar has less than a hundred and more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Those are theoretical bounds on the caterpillar's leg number. I believe you were talking about dance. Thank you. The caterpillar races through the Nepalese forest, much like you might oblige me in this moment. Y you want to sh I, you want me to demonstrate? Uh, oh yes, please do. <laughs> yes, I shall stand back out of the way. <laughs> but, uh, but please, <laughs> Professor Fade, something, something if you like if you would, yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Oh, this yeah, feels yeah, very familiar. Yeah, this is good. Yes. This <laughs> I know. <laughs> Very good, very good. He's, this he's leaving a slimy trail. <laughs> yes. As now, caterpillars would. If we inspect the path through space that Professor Vanderhelm took, it is as if his space took over this realm for a brief amount of time. Mm. This time-space connection is what I want to focus on. It is that with which dance exists. Ah. Our bodies are our persons moving through space and time. I understand that in your research uh, in dance, you have uh, a dance that specifically demonstrates the importance of space. Oh, yes, I very much look forward to this. Yeah. <laughs> if you would oblige me and uh, follow as I do. Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it starts with a caterpillar racing as Professor Vanderhelm did. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> and then it finds a small piece of grass to latch on to, cocooning itself for time's eternal cocoon. Hiding inside, it feels the slime of itself, the slime of itself. <laughs> and it waits, and it waits. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick, then a crack. <gasps> Slicing down the top of the cocoon, a blossoming bloom out from the cocoon pops Something that's not a caterpillar. <laughs> no, time has elapsed and wings spread wide, wider, 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 <laughs> wider. <laughs> and there emerges from what was once inside the caterpillar, emerges an enormous monarch butterfly, which flaps its wings once, woof, and there starts a chain of events that will travel rippling, 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 until it lands on the other side of the planet, 
where another caterpillar is just being born, <laughs> as caterpillars are born, from an egg. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Madison, everyone! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you! And so you are saying yes. that from your research into dance and, and, and butterflies and monarchs specifically, mm -hmm. yes, that their reach is potentially around the entire world. That's and exactly like, it. The, like the trail that the caterpillar previously yes, left. The slimy. It's while slimy one occupies trail. one moment of space in any one moment, yes. one does not understand the ripples through space yes. that yes. one's actions have consequences. Yes, exactly. It is a theorem that I devised when I was 13 and a half called the butterfly effect. <laughs> Are you familiar with Ashton Kutcher? Yes, yes. I yes. Yes, I am aware of his wonderful work. Yes, spoiler alert, Chapstick. Ah. If anyone saw the film in nope, the No, not a single nope. no. You didn't learn, you didn't miss anything. Yeah. It's a terrible film. They went for a plot twist, they missed horribly. Mm, talking about mm, going for something and missing horribly. <laughs> yes? I wonder if we might turn it over to the most knowledgeable to describe to us yes. notions. Mm hmm Notions that you understand more mm. than we do. Which is? Uh, the complex space that is infinity. Uh, well, let's save that for next week, of shall we? Very good, <laughs> Professor Matthews. And they okay. said a professor of dance could play the flute. Absolutely. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like that was going on forever. <laughs> Which is an excellent segue into our most, most recent discussion. Absolutely. What is more infinite mm. than pop trivia? Ah, well put. <laughs> I ask you this, for as the decades go on, do not we remember? And in the act of remembrance, is that not infinity? Ooh. For our entire lifespan, will we not know what follows the words, cut my life into pieces? <laughs> mm. Yes. This is my last resort. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Incredible. Abs you knew that and not Ashton Kutcher's biopic? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the butterfly effect was a biopic. Uh, and so is that not in its own way a form of infinity, that something could go on for forever, like memories would go on for forever? Curious. Mm. You're saying that once a memory exists, it never doesn't exist? Uh, well, I, I suppose the... Limitations on there would belong to the person, but in storytelling, yes. if I were to share with you a piece of information that you did not uh, previously know, mm. it, it encoded into your memory, uh. lives on through you, and so we see the generational passing on of knowledge yes. that in, in some forms is infinity. In it, some of our uh, research that Professor Vanderhelm and I uh, co-authored, mm -hmm. we, we ah. did do some research in, into pub trivia mm -hmm. and how we might be able to stimulate one's memory by using sense that were familiar to them when they learnt the original uh, in trivia in question. Mm -hmm. And so in my case, obviously, we used uh, deep fried um, uh, mac and cheese balls, yes. which yes. seems to be the most, and how it stimulated their brains was such that the memory they didn't even know they had flooded forward as a trivia question, a trivia question such as... Um, uh, say, say, for instance, uh, the Black Eyed Peas hit single. Uh, oh, which uh, yeah, one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean the top five. The, le the least, the, the least offensive one. <laughs> oh, so not let's no, get, yeah, let's <laughs> get it started. Yes, yes, right, yes, yes. of course. Uh, I, I believe we all uh, remember uh, a very brief moment in time before the radio edit came out. That song did have a much different name. <laughs> it did. And it's uh, hard to forget that. Yes, it will, it, it will go on for, for forever. It, yes. And it was interesting that specifically it was deep fried mac and cheese balls that brought that memory back to people. Yes, something so thick and dumb. Why would <laughs> anyone order such a weird, beige, fat-filled ball of guck? Mm. Yes. <laughs> And yet, it did get it started. Absolutely. Uh, for Absolutely. one mac and cheese ball, ultimately does lead to another mac and cheese ball. Mm -hmm. um, in the same way that 
one Blink-182 album ultimately led to another Blink-182 album. Yes. Yeah, so which albums are you referring to in particular? Uh, oh, right. I'm, of course, referring to uh, Dude Ranch. Uh, yes, okay. uh, Which ultimately leads to Take Off Your Pants and Jacket. <laughs> okay. Which I might... Uh, Surely this is... Side note, yes. uh, has a deep undercut of human sexuality. Yes, that's not... It's not that deep, to be honest. It's a <laughs> real deep... Think about it. Take off your pants. Yeah, no, I don't have to think. It's razor thin. And things. Jack? Yes. Mm. Good. Because Good. in order to have sex, one must disrobe. Ah, I see, yes. Take off your pants yes. and jacket. Of course, yes. of course. What, what, what else did you think there was? No, that's perfect. All right. That's perfect. Now, what about Alanis Morissette's uh, hit uh, CD yeah. album, uh, Jagged Little Pill? Well, I believe you are again re returning to the 90s, but I'll allow it. <laughs> the, the 90s? Yes. I was introduced to it after uh, World War II. <laughs> <laughs> and is that not how mm. pop culture works? Because yes. if one person experiences something in the moment that it is released, does yes. it end there? No, its sphere of influence continues. Wait, wait, it say, say that again. Say that again. Sphere of influence? Before that? Continues? Before that? Uh, <laughs> when, one person, when one person experiences something at the moment of release... Y yes? <laughs> And then it continues <laughs> to expand its sphere of influence. Yes, from the moment of release, yes. we then see an immediate expansion. That happens at the moment of release. <laughs> yes. Uh, think about dynamic fluids. Uh, okay. <laughs> from the moment of its release, it, it, does, the, does the fluid stay in one contained spot? No, if it has no limitations, it will continue to spread out, in, in theory, for infinity. Mm. Uh, like, uh, like in a theory, <laughs> for infinity. Mm. Uh, Professor Vanderhelm, perhaps we could concretize this notion of infinity. Well, many have been trying to do that for a long time. Yes, but you, you are in the, fa the Department of 2000's Trivia. Yes, which unfortunately is very finite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a limitation well, of by, 10 by, years. By your own research, it is not for the memories of the 2000s will... Go on forever. Yes, yeah, it is true. In that way, mm. uh, is the memory mm. that is therefore infinite. Mm. Uh, while our specific moments in space might be finite, yes. they, they expand. The consequences of those choices that we make in space as one person mm. do continue on for forever. Beyond our own limitations on this earth, beyond our lives, yes. my di my stories that we tell with other people, they will continue on. Yes, might I postulate a question? Mm. Might I make a point. Absolutely, fire away. This is it. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> you had a question. If we are to understand that the infinite goes on forever, mm. might you put so forward something that is not infinite? For often it is better to understand something for what it is not than for simply what it is. Sure, uh, the end of a life of a caterpillar marks the end of that caterpillar in the same way that the end of a dance mm. performance ah. marks the end of that dance. Yes. These are bounds on the infinite. Mm. Yes, I did uh, encounter quite a few of these in my research. They're known as one-hit wonders. Ah. Yes. Please, they, they are, they please are. name as many as <laughs> you yes, can. Yes, yes. Uh, 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 from the 2000s. Yes, e yes. Easily. Yes. Um, uh, of, of course, we In had. the rap genre, sure. perhaps? Oh, start, thank you. Start there, but move on. Yes. yes. Uh, one, 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 one would be yeah, good. Yeah, in the rap genre. You know, literally even one would probably yeah, at suffice point. at this uh, point. Clearly, I'm a huge hip-hop enthusiast. Mm, yes. Uh, yes. One is, can is, tell. is it getting hot for you? Um, it's getting... It's, it's yes, like but I would not say that Nelly was a one-hit okay, wonder. Okay, right, okay, right, good, okay. Right. Good. Certainly, he had many hits beyond Just priming, that one. just priming. No, no, very, very good. Uh, well, let's see. Um, what was happening around... Probably like Crab Bucket by chaos? How dare you! <laughs> You're right, I did forget about Sunday morning. Yes, My apologies. Thank you. My apologies. Um, well, uh, one hit. Uh, just to be clear, the Sorry, I, I believe my TA is trying to yeah. help me out. Yes? The Bloodhound Gang! Oh. Yes, of course, human sexuality! Yes. How could I forget? That is literally yes. so obvious. Yeah. 
that your TA should maybe be teaching yes, this course. Yes, yes. And I'm just happy that it wasn't me. I'm just happy it wasn't me. That's true, that's true. <laughs> oh, are, wait, I, I'm sorry. Are we gonna say that Shaggy was a one-hit wonder? <laughs> listen, listen, let's count down from one, two, three, four, five, okay? <laughs> let's just relax That would here. be great. That no, be I great. believe that is the definition of a one-hit wonder, <laughs> yes. Lou Vega's, Lou Vega's Mambo number five. Yes. Yes. Um, was his name Lou Vega or yeah. Lou Vega? Yeah. Well, one are, is you, are you conflating Lou Vega with the Ve Venga bus and the Venga boys? Uh, yes. Oh, are you conflating the Venga bus with the Venga boys? No, I'm conflating the Venga bus with the Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I was conflating the Venga bus with the Blue Man group. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Are, are any of us conflating this with, uh, 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 oh, uh, what the heck? Uh, uh, <laughs> IP65? Um, well, yes, but that wasn't the one I was thinking oh, about. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm. S Club uh, 7! Ah, that's the there one. There ain't no party like an S Club yes. party. That's true. <laughs> if so you please, seen, we've yeah. gone on for what honestly feels like infinity. Yes, but this was a demonstrative lecture. Yes, could you please just wrap us up about what infinity is, what it comprises, so that we might be able to prove this absurd theory. Yes. yes. Uh, infinity can be defined by both what it is and what it isn't. Mm -hmm. It is not something that ends, like the careers of S Club 7 sure. or Lou Vega, mm. Vega, Venga, Bus. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and that rich collaboration, a mm. missed opportunity, Perhaps. I agree. Mm. But infinity instead goes on forever, ah. like Beyonce. Ah. She will continue forever. Yeah, TLC started it all. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, within an example of infinity comes something that is not infinity. One member of TLC. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Lisa left I love. Yes, the good knowledge. Um, yes. What I'm trying to we say. We do need to. We do need to. Yes, to, yes. What you were trying class. to say. What I'm trying to say is that you've defined infinity by there being an existence and mm. no longer an existence. Mm. The fact that something exists and then exists in memory, mm. like the memory of a show of caterpillars evolving, it ended. It concludes, but it continues to live on. And in that way. All things are infinite ah. because they either exist or they don't exist yet. But once they exist, they have existed. Absolutely. And if they haven't existed yet, then mm -hmm. they may or may not exist yes, in the future. Yes, continue, continue, yes. So personal space mm. could be thus considered infinite. I'm picturing a piece of spaghetti <laughs> attached between the ends, tilted into a sign of infinity. Like a mo Almost a Mobius strip of spaghetti. <laughs> Absolutely. Imagine taking that piece of spaghetti All right. and never having to eat again. <laughs> Are you saying it's a piece of spaghetti so large that it enters into one organ, continues through many others, exiting out a completely different organ only to return once again to the primary point of entry? <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Wow. Wow. So much learning. A lot of mm -hmm. learning. Yes, yes, yes. However, the learning continues. Yes, it, it, it continues, but we have reached the point in our semester where I feel like it's perhaps time to provide a break. Absolutely. Yes, uh, a reading week, mm. if you will. Yes, a reading week mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. will be a full week, however, will feel to you as if it is 10 or 15 minutes. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> however, uh, uh, it's not just an opportunity to go Drinking, although nope. you could do that. Go sure. partying. Sure. But but you eat could do that. <laughs> sure. Explore but, uh, the citadel if you wanted. No, but it is it is an opportunity for us to provide you with what is a take-home midterm exam. Mm. Yes. Uh, on your course packages, you would have, uh, underneath the prerequisite sheet, seen, no doubt, your midterm form. Uh, your midterm will consist of one single question, yes. uh, where upon uh, completion, you'll drop that literally into the drop box that will be right here uh, at the front of the stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, the one question on their midterm is, of course, it is a personal reflection. Mm. It is how do the ideas presented thus far connect 
for you. We are looking for individual answers. We want you to be introspective. Pull out the incredible learnings of the first half thus far. Yes. And truly tell us how they connect for you on a personal level. Yes? Yes. Yes. Did I do... Is that, is that enough? That's, I think that's more than enough. Giving them any more would be helping them out too much. It's we don't want to hold their hands or else no one would graduate. It's true. It's yes. true. We explored the concepts of personal, space, and of course infinity yes. through our respective lenses of brainiology yes. and pasta, mm -hmm. dance and caterpillars, mm. and the, the department of 2000s trivia yes. uh, and human sexuality. We will see you after the break, but for now, Please give a round of applause to Professor Vanderhelm. Ah, Professor Mathewson. And Professor Fade. We'll see you soon. Welcome back, class. <laughs> no, come on, settle up, settle up. Settle up, settle up. Settle up, settle down. How was your midterm break? A few clipboard clappers in the <laughs> We, of room. course, had high expectations <laughs> for such an incredible class. We did. We saw a lot of uh, attendance uh, in the first half of this class. We saw a lot of knowledgeable faces nodding along class after class. Mm -hmm. We thought there was learning going on. Let's show the distribution of marks before we go any further. Sorry. Yes. Just quickly. This is... Fairly obvious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is where the marks generally landed. The you think to yourself, not bad, a pretty even distribution. Sure, unfortunately, this was the reality. <laughs> yes. F after F after F. And I know a lot about continuous Fs. <laughs> there was even an F minus. An F minus. One of you put another an a question on the exam that didn't already exist, and then answered it wrong. Yes. <laughs> it was as if you were trying to make it harder for yourself and failed in doing so. Uh, what happened out there, class? I would like to share with you just a few examples oh my God. of how mm. poor some of these responses were. This one. We were hoping. Personal space is an imaginary bubble and will always be invaded, especially when you have children. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Whether, that may or may not be true, it did not answer the question. This is an interesting one from one uh, hungry caterpillar. Uh, <laughs> if, if everything is infinite, including personal space, and all organs are sexual organs, uh. is the world a nonstop orgy? <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. That's, that's a good, interesting mm. point, Very but interesting. not the most correct. And now, Gwyneth P. Uh, had a very interesting answer to the midterm question. Hmm. Their personal reflection was not to answer with text, hmm. which I hmm. admire as a dance professor. Of course, there are other mediums yes. that an answer can be recorded. Rather, they just drew a small picture of a small flower. <laughs> now, hmm. Professor Matthewson, that is disconcerting. Yes. Because I have here another small flower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, this is not good. This is not good. This I'm going to have to ask good. one LaFonda to please join us here on stage. And I'm going to have to ask Gwyneth P. Gwyneth P. To join and LaFonda, if you could please. Yes, the university yes. takes plagiarism very seriously, we LaFonda. We need you to come to and this. Gwyneth P. If Gwyneth identify P. yourself. Gwyneth yes, P. is sitting yes. beside you. Put up your hand so we can tell you Where are P the is. submitters of these two midterms? Gwyneth P., please. We will, we will impose random beatings until the two people <laughs> come forward. <laughs> and not those kind of random no, beatings. No, no one was thinking that. I was. So we do Ten, need LaFonda. LaFonda. Eight. To, to literally, the show needs you to come forward. Yes. Point. Nothing will happen until we get our two plagiarists. Be, maybe those two I back there. Those two. Just feel like they're, they're in commiserating cahoots. in some way. They're okay, in okay, cahoots. All right. all right, everybody, everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Everyone okay. stand up. Everyone, Everyone stand, stand up. up. Okay, this okay. is an interesting technique. Right. Okay. Now sit down if your name is not Gwyneth P. 
Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, it didn't uh, work. Okay, it did didn't not work. work. It didn't okay. work. It didn't work. It didn't work. I, they saw, yeah, I, I, it's those two. I do honestly I feel like no it's those plagiarists two. when I see them. Oh, Is it you? Those two are plagiarists. Yes, 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 yes. Two get, of up, you. get up here. Get yes. down here. Unbelievable. First, this academic integrity mishap, and then a second infraction. In all honesty, was it you? No. Well, yeah, it's fine. It's too fine. bad. It's fine. Here. La Fonda, Gwyneth P., these are the people you have put in this position. Just so you know, they're taking the fall yes. for you. Yes. They are plagiarists, yes. And, and as plagiarists, you, your wall, your name, your, your faces will be added to the wall of shame. Yes, please, yes. So you are. Uh, if we can get a chant of shame going, please. Shame, 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 shame. 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 Yes, you shame. look shameful. Yes. Very good. What were you shameful. thinking? Shameful. Please submit these absolutely abhorrent behaviors. One more round of booze for your plagiarists, Boo! everyone. Boo! Thank you for participating. We do truly appreciate that. Uh, uh, Fonda, Gwyneth P. The system isn't always perfect. No. But the system is the system. <laughs> we need plagiarists, even if we don't get the right ones. Their pictures will forever adorn the wall of shame, mm -hmm. and they will be known as Gwyneth P. And, and La, La Fonda. Fonda. And La Fonda. Yes. Absolutely. We trust you've learned something today. We will, of course, see you next class. Next class. <clears throat> It has come to our attention that some <sighs> in this vast bureaucracy that is RFU, Rapid Fire University, we have been told that our policy of a closed door policy, frankly, is not good enough and yes. we must give what is colloquially known as office hours. And so this... We thought we were doing that, but having a closed door policy apparently mm. inhibited you from entering our offices and asking questions. Yes. Yes. You know what they say is the worst part of the university? What's that? <laughs> from a professor's point of view? Mm -hmm. The students. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and so we open our doors for a few minutes to let the students into our office only in an attempt to appease you and prepare you for what will surely be an academic journey mm -hmm. that you'll need to prepare yourself for. Yeah, so if you have any questions about anything that you have heard us lecture about thus far, this is, of course, your opportunity yes. to uh, sort of raise your hand and uh, yell out, question, uh, professor. Uh, we'll, of course, address you and uh, hear your question in the hopes of uh, gleaming onto you more knowledge. So if, if anyone who has a question about anything that you... Yes, right over here. Yes. Professor Lord Levesque. Thank you. Uh, mm. Yes. Yes. Uh, Lord Professor... Yes, thank you. I'm so glad you brought this up. Mm. The Worm, of course, a early 2000s dance mm. yes. that was brought about uh, in the uh, upper Manhattan borough. Mm. Uh, the Worm did inspire a research paper of mine that I called No Legs, Don't Beg. Uh, <laughs> it explored the notion of what a worm is and what it isn't. Mm. Uh, of course, we know what the worm looks like. We saw a rendition of it earlier. Yeah, that was my best attempt at the worm. <laughs> yes, it does look more and I'm gonna try this oh, here, yes, like yeah, this. Right. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. Now please don't clap unless you want to. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, it's fine, it's fine, you don't have to, thank you. So yes, it was inspired, of course, by the mm. worm, but not wholly. I think there's more to be gleaned by other forms of dance, too. Mm. Good question. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very good All right. question. Any other uh, questions uh, from the course? Yes. Mm, you are the angel for asking that <laughs> question. <laughs> mm. Circumference, thank you. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Hundred percent accurate. Yes. I uh, yes. Uh, uh, yes. Over here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gwyneth P. Yes. I'm sure that's Gwyneth P. Yeah, I think that we found our Gwyneth P. <laughs> Absolutely, we have. Um, 
How can we have any academic integrity at all if we were to answer that question? That's true. That's true. Should we give some hints, potentially? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> one final question. Yes, any other questions? And you can't ask what will be on the final exam. That question's off the table uh, forevermore. Any uh, last minute questions? Yeah. Uh, yes, in the back there. Yeah. If, uh, if in theory you could make the argument that the right to ability to accept the results of your research mm -hmm. is equal to mm -hmm. the right to choose from multiple sources. Oh my mm. God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please give it up for this student. <laughs> there are, there, there, there are, are always students who uh, rise above, who <laughs> truly want to shine brighter than the other stars. Yes, brilliant question. Of course, the answer is yes. Mm. That is what string theory is dependent on. Mm -hmm. And in fact, not just string theory, but every theory of the infinite, gravitational waves, loop theory, string theory, it all boils down to caterpillar metaphors. Mm. <laughs> is it not true that the name string theory came from the silk woven of a silk worm? It is true. Ah, good. I thought so. It is yes. also an acronym. Oh, uh, how so? Uh, it's, it, go ahead, yes. <laughs> it, it stands for string theory mm -hmm. is, uh, no, uh, really is not good. Yeah. <laughs> So it, uh, in being a paradox, it is also proving itself right. <laughs> wow, interesting. Right. Th that is the most uh, succinct uh, definition of string theory I've ever heard. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's one last question in, in the blue uh, sweater. Yes. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, yes. You're in all the, your field work in mm. the world of pasta, mm. specifically into macaroni, surely you must have come across one best recipe for a mac and cheese ball. Yes, yes I have. Big brain time. <laughs> Here it comes. All right. A recipe for mac and cheese balls. Yes. Step one, make mac and cheese. Mm. Step two, roll them into balls. <laughs> roll them? Yes. Roll each and every tiny macaroni into a single ball. And yeah. that is the difference between my ah. recipe and other recipes. Ah. And so by gathering to get them together, you might have a talus dome sort of effect Absolutely. of mac and cheese balls. Absolutely. Yes. And that is my inspiration for I, of course, only dine at the finest restaurants. And I mm. find the finest restaurant in the entire city of Edmonton to be, of course, Hudson's Pub. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Which is where I most recently devoured too many, arguably too many yes. mac and cheese balls, and I literally only had three. Yes. It was too and much. And that was too many. It was too much. You reached me. the finite, the, the limitations on mac and cheese Absolutely. balls. Absolutely. You know what my favorite part of that answer was? Mm. There was no time, mm -hmm. nor temperature, nor ingredients other than mac and cheese. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Conceptual, theoretical, and truly what I would have expected from a noble laureate. The, 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 the truth of the matter is, Mac and cheese doesn't come from a box or from a recipe. Mm. It comes from here. It comes <laughs> from here. Some ah. say this is the mac, this is the cheese. And where are the balls? Uh, that's it, that's, <laughs> 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 that's it. We received several emails from you suggesting that perhaps we as professors have not yet done enough to connect the theories, uh, the pieces of the theory, the personal, the mm. space, and of course, the, the infinite. infinite. The infinite. Uh, and so, the Professor infinite. Fade. The infinite. Oh, I see. The infinite. Yes, very the good. Infinite. Why did it stop? It hasn't. <laughs> It's it lives on in our memories. <laughs> I believe it Professor Fade uh, has prepared a, um, what looks like a video PowerPoint presentation. It starts with, of course, Professor Mathewson's incredible presentation mm. on the dance and the effect the monarch butterfly has on all of us. Yes. A of single course. flap of the wings <laughs> can change everything. And maybe, as you are flying above the sky like some type of butterfly, you might feel free as if your personal space is infinite, but we all know there are people in our lives who are always into our personal space. Mm. <laughs> mm. Crowding. 
crowding, always encroaching from every direction. So if personal space was infinite, why would it feel as though they were encroaching? Mm. For something infinite would never feel finite. It would never feel as though you were being imposed upon. Mm -hmm. But that's of course what brings us to Professor Vanderhelm's discussion around, well, space. Uh, some, some type of discussion around space that you had. And, and my work, of course, on pasta. Yes, I would say probably more on pasta. Yes, potentially. Ah, yes. But my pasta was only that to connect, to bring mm. together, to and carb load our brains yes. so that we might truly understand your research into 2000s trivia and mm -hmm. sexuality. Yes, mm. of course. Mm. Because is not space and sexuality inherently linked? Yes. They are <laughs> physically linked. For how else would the sexual uh, um, <laughs> um, detritus yes. of one person yes. uh, uh, expand upon the uh, sexual materials of another? It is, of course, in the joining of space. Yes. The combining of the Venn diagrams, if you will, one circle, the other overlapping mm. into the vesica Pisces mm. that is the yes. act of sex. Yes. Mm. And could we not imagine a Mobius strip angel hair pasta threaded through each and yes. every one we, of us. We yes, could. I, I believe we, we could imagine, imagine it. I don't want to. 7.4 billion people. Each person with the same piece. Conga lining around the globe. Yes, as if they are some type of caterpillar yes. or centipede. centipede. Right, <laughs> yes, 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 just one after the other, one's cause, the other's effect, the cause, the effect, the cause, the, the effect. effect. The ripples felt across the entire infinite plane that is our Yes, world. E expanding into our solar system where two Marses might simultaneously exist. Yes. Casting a black shaft, perhaps. <laughs> Not a black hole, but a hole that has been elongated. Yes, a cone of black influence, energy sucked into the permanent blackness. Yes, black sucked influence. In, sucked in all or out, who's to say? The great dance of molecules orbiting around and we as planets are only caterpillars inching mm. along mm. on the gravitational fabric that is the solar infinite. Now, what Professor Matthews, a wonderful Matthewson, metaphor. It is obvious to us and those intelligent students how we have proven this theory true, but for their own sake, yes. if you could very concisely sure. tell us exactly why personal Personal space, space is infinite. Is infinite. Because each and every one of us has a person. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us takes up space. Mm -hmm. That's what one of us means. And if each and every one of us and one of us to come and one of us that has come mm. before. Yes, the generations. <laughs> yes, the generations. <laughs> well, then all potential futures of persons will have space. Therein, personal space is infinite. Mm. So I said quad erat demonstratum. <laughs> quad? Yes. Four? He didn't know. <laughs> he didn't know. He looked at me bald-faced. Unbelievable. Bald-faced? Yes. He lost his mustache? Yes. It, it's as if it had fallen off his face. Gentlemen. Incredible. Of course. Ah, yes. Excuse. We have come to the final exam. Now, I'm sure you all think you're ready for this final exam, but the reality is we as your professors were discussing, and it, it just feels like it would be a waste of everyone's time yes. to have us all write the final exam <laughs> when the midterm marks clearly showed most of us are failing this class anyway. And yeah. now, is that our fault as professors? No. Y no, it is not. No. 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 It's never the professor's it's fault. It's hard to draw a causal link from one thing to another. Butterfly lots, of, lots of things could go on in your lives. Yes. However, 
as we saw from the midterms, there were two of you, two of you who have a chance of actually succeeding and passing this class. They are not LaFonda or Gwyneth P. Let's Clearly, <laughs> they are not. No, our two people that we would love to bring forth on stage for a performative final exam mm -hmm. in place of a multiple choice and numeric response is, of course, Fernando and Kevin. Fernando and Kevin, a round of applause. Go. Yes, Fernando go. and Kevin. Please, where are you? Come on, you? Up. Ah, come yes. on up. there's Kevin. Come Good. on, up. Oh, under Great. Yes. Please. Come on up. Right this way. Oh, oh you, you won't need that. Uh, it will not be yes. a numeric response, multiple come on choice. Up. Yes, hello, yeah, Kevin, I believe. Yes, have a yes. seat here, Kevin. Yes, come on. Hello, uh, this there. must be Fernando. Yes, Wonderful. Yes, yes. yes. have Welcome. a seat. Well Very done. Good. Well done. Very good. Well done. Well done. Yes, would you like to read uh, some of Kevin's uh, response oh. there? Very astute. Uh, some nice uh, bits of knowledge in there. <laughs> this, this is truly incredible work, Kevin. These ideas lead to finite paradigm shifts based upon infinite personal reflection, which, when seen through a postmodern lens, allow us as individuals to exceed the infinite bounds of the known universe. Mm. Mm. Chef's kiss, the most delicious pasta I've ever read aloud. <laughs> but perhaps it is only rivaled by what I consider to be the most amazing genius we've seen in this well, class so Kevin far. Kevin is also here. Fernando is also very here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fernando said, after the first lecture, I discovered the incredible sensual capabilities of the liver. Wow. <laughs> in that's what stuck what? with you? One could even say that given the limitless self-regenerating quality of the liver, that its sexual powers are dot, 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 infinite. <laughs> there you go. Wow. Wow. Using a man who uses the ellipses as a weapon is <laughs> truly dangerous. <laughs> Incredible. Now, your final exam in lieu of a multiple choice or a numeric response is simply going to be one question. Yes. And uh, Professor Matheson has prepared it for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. It is what I consider to be an important question. Mm, I yes. agree. A personal question and one that will help you understand me and hopefully reveal to them how you believe I think. Mm. <laughs> the question, of course, is how many planets do you think that I think? <laughs> Very important phrasing there. <laughs> personal space is existing. Ha so re repeat the question. <laughs> On how many planets does mm personal space exists. But, but of course, it's important that we, it's how, on how many planets do you, you think, think Professor, Professor Matthewson, Matthewson thinks personal space, space exists. exists? So the question again, on how many planets is personal space an issue uh, based on what you think Professor Matthewson thinks the answer to this question is? So again, you're not looking for the answer to this question. The question is what you think Professor Matthewson thinks the answer to this question is. Which and I've written in this, the final <laughs> exam <laughs> solution. <laughs> this I cannot change, and there's only one of them. Great. The so closest two will win, of course. The university? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You'll win the concept of education. Yes. In that case, you will have 10 seconds. Your time starts now. Are we playing with prices right rules? Absolutely not. Okay, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's your time. Time That's is time. Up. Pencils down, or in this case, Sharpies. Now, Kevin, I'll allow you to go first. If you would pr please present your answer to the question on how many planets <laughs> does Professor Matthewson think personal space is an issue. It seems like an, a linking series of zeros. Wow. Mm, mm. Truly an infinite amount? Truly. Okay. <laughs> Although uh, it could also be a two. That's that, uh, let, let, let's move. Okay, let's move on. Ch are, are we interpreting it wrong, Kevin? Is yeah, there something you're you're slightly Okay, slightly so tell us. Well, Professor. <laughs> I, uh, okay, we don't have all day, of course, Kevin. Professor <laughs> Matheson thinks. Mm. 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 That the number of planets in the universe yeah. mm -hmm. in which personal space exists 
Yes. Mm -hmm. you're, you're fishing for my reaction yes. at this point <laughs> in this ambiguous figure. Yes. Infinite Can linkage. Yes. Of caterpillar section length. Very good. So, ah. so quantifiably, the number would be? Hmm. An infinite number of zero length steps. Very good. Ah. Very good. Ah. Let us turn to Fernando. Very good. Fernando, on how many planets do you think Professor Matthews th thinks personal space is an issue? Please Your answer really is? Eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, Professor Matthewson, what say you? Let us reveal the answer. The answer that I wrote down is two. Two! <laughs> In which case, is eight closer, or is a series of zeros closer? Uh, it is <laughs> complex to think about. But clearly the answer is eight. Yes, eight. of course. Wonderful, Fernando. 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 Kevin, Thank I'm so, so much, sorry. Kevin. Kevin, well, well done. Nice. Well, job, Kevin, job, you, you may exit uh, because you have failed yes. the class. Thank yeah. you. Um, very sorry to very say good. that. Love uh, the figure. Fernando, Love the though, well done, Fernando. You have, in fact, Graduated. Fernando, please come He's join, join me us. up here. Join, join me us. up here. Wonderful work, absolutely interpretable in a way that Kevin's wasn't. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Simple yes. and yet infinite. Infinite. Yes, yes. And what a reveal. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, uh, after, of course, every final exam at the end of a university semester, we, of course, come to our convocation. Yes. yes. So please, yes. Shall we Fernando, join us. Yes. Come here, yes. Good, please, good. Please. It'll be uh, good. Um, yes. That's just right over here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Just <coughs> put this on. And it'll be half here. here. Class. It's just a robe. Yeah, just a robe. RFU 694.20-3, welcome to your convocation day. A day where we recognize all of the graduates of this course. So when I call your name, do please cross the stage to receive handshakes and all that comes with the graduation ceremony. <clears throat> Fernando. Very good, very good. Uh, oh, oh goodness. Hang on, let's say. Uh, and he was the best of the bottom There of the we lot. go, there we go. Yeah. Very good, very good. Uh, um, very good. Let me, I'll just, I'll just let me just. Uh, that's good. There we yes. go. Very, very good. And that's the end of the list. <laughs> now. Go, yes, go, come, 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 Good come. Good job, come. fantastic. Now, fantastic Fernando, yes, since you were the only graduate, by de facto, that also makes you our valedictorian. Yes. Good yes, job. Yes, yes. And as valedictorian, you get all of the pomp and circumstance that comes with it. Mm. Yes. Including, of course. Yes, of course, we have this, this valedictorian sash. Yes. Put one arm up and I'll, and yeah, then I think it, nope, if it just, over the top, there yeah, we go, okay. There. Lock, just, th and then this could go through there, yeah. that is, there we go. That's that cool. is perfect. Yes, you're valedictorian, everyone. Well done. Uh, uh, but of course, uh, you need the accreditation. Here we are, valedictorian of the absurd. Yes. Very nice, very nice. You're valedictorian, everyone. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Of course. Of course. Oh. Yes, there is one more thing, one more thing, of course. Yes, oh, Professor yeah. Matthewson will be your hat pin. Very good. Just some, just some pomp and circumstance. Uh, yes, very good, yes. Very good. If you can just, this is the, uh, the, um, the RFU scepter. Yes. Which, of course, you need to bang three times, once for the, uh, the knowledge of the past, once for the knowledge of the present, and once for the knowledge of the future. Yep. Knowledge yep. of the past, present. Present. Of the present. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That that's good. Knowledge yep. of the future. You're very a valedictorian. Good. Okay, this. Very good. No, I mean, that's very, very, very funny. Yeah, that's perfect. That was perfect. very well done. And I know something about balls dropping. Yes. yes. <laughs> good. Very good. Of course, as we saw earlier, an entry into the wall of shame, Fernando. You will be entered into the wall of fame. Center yes, here, right, please. Right there. Very good. Yes. yes. Holding the orb. Very nice. Good. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. 
I just want to make sure you can read valedictorian. Oh, yes, here. very good, yeah, very, very good. Very good. Yes, Big wonderful. Smile, yeah. Yes, good. Many Thank frigus. you, many, yes. Many you, can, you can add that to the wall of fame. Of You're valedictorian, everyone. Yes. I'll, take, I'll take that from you. Yeah, I'll take yes. that. That's perfect. Now, of course, yeah. of course, uh, there is, there is, of course, a, a little more. Uh, we just, of course, need you to. This is, of course, please, uh, you, if you could just play. No, you're doing great. You're doing great. This if you could just play. This yes. Just play the school's fight song to call out our mascot. Yes. Uh, literally any noise would bum, be. Bum. Okay, that's good. I just <laughs> you just try buzz, yeah. buzz. Yeah. Buzz. Yes. Very yes. Good. Very good. That, of course, that that is our fight song, which calls out the the uh, our mascot, who will reveal himself thusly. Play it again. Play it again. Play it again. Oh, there he is. Yes. Very good. Next, good. Yes, of course, Cool Ranch Doritos, the mascot. Very good. There it yeah. is. <laughs> Trying to go, yes. Cool Ranch Doritos, of course. Now uh, we are contractually obligated to say Cool Ranch Doritos now with more Cool Ranch flavor. Yes, yes that's yeah. great. A round of applause for your valedictorian, Fernando. Shake, yes, yes. Yes, Thanks. right this way, Thanks. right this way. Yep. This and of course, oh, no. there you go, that's, per yes. There is a, a speech there prepared for you. Yes. Of course, every notable valedictorian gives the valedictorian speech. I'll hold on to that for you. Of course, you're not alone in your writing efforts. You've prepared a wonderful speech, but I do believe from the prerequisites filled in by your classmates, you will have some assistance mm -hmm. whenever you feel like you're drawing a blank. So, Fernando, whenever you're ready, the valedictorian speech. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle up. Settle up. Settle up. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Okay. Okay. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> To my fellow students, Good. Uh, esteemed and beloved geniuses, ah. <laughs> uh, I invite a guest. Mm -hmm. uh, good evening. My name is Fernando, mm -hmm. Good. Uh, and I am truly uh, gigantic. <laughs> 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 to be, <laughs> to be, I refuse a valedictorian and public observer. Yes. Uh, Eleanor Ro Roosevelt once said, "The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty." This, this, make this one good. <laughs> good dog. Yes. 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 yes, 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 good. Yes, it, if this is true, based on all I have seen from our class over the past 36 weeks, mm -hmm. our future is going to be sexy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Yes. yes, it will. I approve. <laughs> yes, I look forward to receiving your Richard photographs. <laughs> <laughs> you mean dick pics? Dick pics, yes, yes. dick pics. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The pursuit of academia uh, is a disturbed one. Yes, mm. it is. Mm. It, is. <laughs> it requires us to be introspective mm. and to be uh, fornicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. I again would agree. Yes. I'm sorry, and to fornicate. Yes. Our <laughs> paradigms and assumptions about the world. Yes. You want to, f sorry, par you want to. Fornicate our paradigms? And assumptions about uh, yes, ah, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Create more assumptions. Create more, more paradigms. paradigms. Yes. 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 Uh, this course has been sexy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we've been thirst. We we spent 36 weeks uh, watching the people in the desk beside us. Mm -hmm. uh, plunge. Mm. Yes. Yes. Punch. Plunge. 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 <laughs> we didn't know whether we would make it, mm. but we did. We did. Well, you did. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> you, you did. They you did. made. Some of us. Of yes. Of us, yes. <laughs> Together, and thus, we have a right to our convocation. Mm -hmm. yeah. you, your convocation. Yes. Uh, my convocation. Uh, <laughs> in the end, our professors have stumbled and enlightened mm. us. That seems okay. Eerily accurate. It's, it's sure. Maybe it's a metaphor. Yeah. We will never forget them, uh. and we'll undoubtedly give them. A raucous standing ovation at oh. the end of this session. Oh, that's oh, uh, so sure. You didn't have to say that. Whatever, whatever, sure. <laughs> Apparently, I did. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> in closing, as we leave this lecture hall tonight, let us scream <laughs> <laughs> as though our auto parts store 
Depended on it. <laughs> Scream as if our auto parts store depended on mm. it. A beautiful metaphor. A truly beautiful metaphor that drives us forward. <laughs> yes. I wish you all the br a bright future. Mm. Uh, I wish you all the bright future. Eleanor Roosevelt in front. Mm. Mm -hmm. We are the class of January 25th, mm -hmm. and that future belongs to us. <laughs> Minute Brigos. Stay cool, everyone. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well done, Enjoy, everybody. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. Minute, please, 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 come here, come here. Please. 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 Well please done. Do fantastic. Well done. Fantastic. Well done. Absolutely wonderful. Give it up once again for Fernando, everybody. Yes, yes. Very good. Absolutely very good, wonderful. Yes. Just amazing. <laughs> Students, thank you for coming to the professors. Yes. If you are not Fernando and did That's not pass great. this yeah, class, we do offer another semester next week. Yes. I have been Professor Fade. I have been Professor Matthews. I've been Professor Vanderhelm. If you would deposit your clipboards on your way out with the TAs, that would be wonderful. <laughs> and one last time, give up for your valedictorian, Fernando! <laughs> very good. Very, very Come good. Come this way. Well, well done. Well done. Well done. How could we get work? Great work. Yes. <laughs>